Um, yeah, but like I know I some of y'all have seen this video around circulating the internet of these realistic ass robots with the most responsive facial expressions that I've ever seen in my life. Look we at this. doing the rounds. Of the Look at this robot that looks ultra lifelike. Is it real? Is it fake? Well, at CES 2022, like this is this is the most realistic I've seen a robot. Amico the robot was on show and let me tell you the experience of interviewing this robot was She got very to interview unhappy. it? No, 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 son, no. Did you say how far does their mouth open? Female, your age. Time out. You're going to time out. What? No, 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 no. You kind of on to something because as, as good as this looks, I need them to start. I, okay, so y'all seen Detroit Become Human. Y'all know Marcus. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. So, Morgan, tell me, you've got Amica there next to you. This is a very light. Look at her chilling. Robot. That's how I look after I'm smacked. Would you design a robot? That's how far it opens up, Kirby, by the way. Robot that looks you said so Connor? Why do y'all like Connor so much? He's so... Connor... Okay, Connor is adorable. He's adorable. He reminds me of Tom Holland a little bit. But I need me a Marcus. I need me a Marcus. Just put a wig on it. Where is the skin textures at? I feel like when you give them the little thingy, they get their skin color and shit. A human. Yeah, well... The look at, look at her. She's smacked. Robot right Two now. robots get high? If for entertainment Marcus is fine. It's Thank you. Thank you. For interaction I agree. With other people. Amica is the pinnacle of what we can do, but what did she be talking? Not what did she exactly be saying? Like a human. But we didn't want to make it. Look She's not even exactly paying like attention. They have been a robot with ADHD. It's just like me for real. We wanted to make it look like a robot. Uh, it's the vision of what humans see humanoid robots in the future. You How you make a film, robot that has a low attention span? Like I ain't seen this movie in a grill. We gotta watch this so in Discord. something around what we see. Look at her! She can't even pay attention for real. And how do you create those really human expressions? Yeah, I, I mean, know. looking at Amica responding to you, there's little movements of eyebrows, if you can call them eyebrows. How did you actually build the robot to look so human her with eye those twitching. expressions? Well, what we do is we first look at a real human. It's what Kirby, we call what? animation first. So what does a real human do? <clears throat> um, how do they move? And then we take that that's animation nuts. and we design the She's, she's smacked. She off a beam so for real. And it's literally me. only do what a human can do. Yeah, see, she whacked me. <laughs> Once we've got that, then it's quite easy to automate those expressions because whatever the she's mechanics do looks lifelike. It's up for Earth. So Amica's got quite... Honestly, I can't wait till robots start, start like becoming conscious and start doing stuff like i feel like humans are gonna meet their own demise and it's their fault i'm not gonna be pissed about me scared but i'm not gonna be pissed i'm gonna be like well natural selection it was it was inevitable like a few it's gonna happen motors in in its head um but we can see amica going through they're still trying to make its legs move mouth, opening her mouth a is she wireless she got a speaker in her chest that, that we want amica to do so um big big smile amica is she mocking him uh, <laughs> Very thoughtful. She said I like making faces. Ew! Ew! Look! Y'all look! Very look! Does she look like she looks like she bites? Like she look like she like whenever someone walks too close, she goes, Arr! <laughs> That is hey, nasty. Bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Look at her! She looks feral. She looks <laughs> she looks so nuts. <laughs> Imagine seeing her at night. Where would we kind of see this this robot Amica out in the wild? Um, this is mainly in the wild service robotics. So the actual interaction with humans. Um, you said I can't. A lot of people will probably lose their jobs when robots start taking over. That's literally the plot of Detroit Become Human. Like they they were they were boycotting and protesting in the streets because robots are taking our jobs in this country. Yeah, now other humans aren't the threat anymore. It's robots that y'all built, so and funded. So she can rock around in a human space. Tyler, thank um, you for the follow. Thank y'all so much for the follows. I appreciate y'all. In the future, 
Well, I'm talking probably 10 years before you're actually going to see something like this walking amongst us. Are you walking expecting in, say, 10, what? 20 years from now that we could see Amica robots walking, running, dancing, climbing? Are they going to start looking like Boston Dynamics robots? That Yo, this this robot right here, this one and the other, the four-legged one, the, the one that looks like a robot dog, that should be cracking me up. The way they move is just, I don't know what it is, but it's funny as fuck to Run me. across a field at speed, I'm, I'm asking. It's like they know that they're heavy as fuck. The here. So <laughs> this is why we created the artificial The parkour, body. yeah. The that motherfucker just wink. She's been winking. She's been like chewing at air. She's not paying attention to shit. He says, she says she's in the metaverse right now. Without having to look through a user manual. When she meditates, so she goes straight to the metaverse. So what kind of level of artificial intelligence have you baked in in terms of uh, what is communication she capabilities? And she said, yeah, I hear you, bitch. I hear everything that's going on in your home, and I'm going to hack it. I'm going to connect to it and hack it. You said, hey, Alexa? No, fuck Alexa. And Amica she understanding can't walk. and uh, responding, even speaking to you. So there's some artificial intelligence. You and most of the artificial intelligence at the minute that is on Amica is roving around the vision system. No, talk so to her. Does Amica she does speak? Have a camera in each of Does she be talking? Parts. So it can see She's what's like, going Hello on. Hello there. Um, so it can, can I make you a cup people. of tea? Um, and then burns you with the tea. Um, it can detect other objects. Such as my finger. Sex, you're chasing me in my nightmares. My around. Um, I can wave at it. Um, and then it can see, always see it move. She back said, and, uh, back your human you hand up. I see all your skin cells. And I do not want you touching me. You think you, you think robots can get the Rona? Back up. Before I drain all the power in this building, I, I'll knock all this shit over. <laughs> kind of think of the, <laughs> uh, the internet's response to Amica. It's the emotion and how it Her moves. smile looks like it the hurts. Emotion that you get out right, of Right, she looks like her cheeks Suddenly, are burning. That does she can't feel it. Something in, she can't feel it. Um, social media universe. And you know what she looks like she's doing? You know how, okay, I don't know if y'all know this, but like, like newborns, when they're born, a few weeks after they're born, they be testing out like their facial expressions. Like you think they're smiling at, smiling at you. Sometimes they are, but like nine times out of 10, they don't know what that feels like. So they're, they're, they're trying out what they can do with their face. That's what it looks like she's doing. Surprise! That overnight, it became like she just discovered she can smile. Twenty-four million views on one. Twitter, she gave those little kid smiles with uh, school Twitter pictures. Bio. Yeah. And um, Elon Musk even commented on on that post. So uh, incredible response. And we're those at kids that smile right too now. hard look like they this bite. This is the first time this has been shown off. They definitely in bite. Public. Um, and activity. we're expecting to be very busy showing off Amica. Is she trying to talk, Amica? What are you uh, doing? How do you think humans respond to something when it's a bit like them, but it's still got that uncanny element? What we found was when you try and make it- Is he real? Is he real? Is he real? Y'all, what? Is he not real? That uncanny element. What we found was- He's not real. There's no way. There's no way. Y'all, the only, the only way I could tell was his eyes moving like that. This is not a real person. I thought he created one of the robots. He is one of them. When you try and make Look, that's the only thing that, that made me realize that he wasn't a human is the way that his eyes are moving. But like, there's just no fucking way. They got the right hair texture. They he even got details in his lips. You said, nah, I'm gonna fight him too. What? How? Make it look ultra like to our other Mesmer line, it looks a bit more sinister because it's right in the uncanny bag. But actually, when we created Amica, we, we pulled it backwards out of the uncanny valley because it looks less human, because it's plastic, because it's metal. Um, and because no, she still looks creepy, skin. though. She like, back it's up, Gregory. Hello. Back People up. People seem to respond the to The apocalypse is not yet. And it's coming for like us this very much soon. More than they like <laughs> right the, uh, the ultra realistic robots that we Ew! Want. When you're demoing Amica, what are some of your favorite things to do to kind of show the, um, the what power she of saying? that interaction and what just she how saying? impressive she those everybody life -like features are? Yeah, so there is no reason as, to make these right. The, um... No, at the end of the day, what are they making this for? Scientists and engineers would say that they're making it just to see how far they can get with technology but they're not they're not just testing to see how far they can get there they have a purpose when they make these so what is it what's the purpose what is the purpose what is the reason reacting to personal space but we can also talk to abaca so i can say you can make a abaca, sims museum right some sua -sua. Well, thank you. what what hello abaca how are you 
I am doing well, thank you. We can, we've created Amica, so it's more lifelike than any other robot. She's still not paying attention. She, okay, she kind of me. She kind of me. Just right. like human movement. They build it for the army. In the center as to well. To fight as other countries. Shoulder. And that actually means that instead of hitting me, Amica can move a hand all the way up to the side of her head. I'm interested to know um, maybe how, how Ew, the robot that is, so nasty. is finding Vegas or CES. How are you finding Las Vegas and CES? Well, as a robot, I actually don't feel anything at all. But How do you if know? I did feel, I would feel happy to be here. Do you see a robot like this becoming a, an accepted part of our lives? Do you see it maybe being something I might ask a question of at the airport? Or would I have an Amica robot in my home helping me out? So most of the, the, the use cases for this will be the interaction. So yes, in the airport, that's a, a great use case uh, because you can either have many, many humans. You also the video where they ask a robot and many if the robot robots. feels anger. And you can have that interaction in the same way. And I bet they, I bet they be home, pissed. Probably not something that's going to happen. I bet they be pissed in fuck off the all the time. A robot like this is can do many tasks, just like a human. But there are other robots that you can get that will do those tasks uh, a lot better because they're designed for the job. Oh, and I need a kitty on the Roomba. You can get them today. So why would you buy a humanoid robot that will probably cost more than your house? Maybe in the future, maybe in 50 years time. But I'm going to say right now, I don't think you'll have one of these in your home in the next decade. What does it Thank feel God. like to work on something that's had such a huge response and to be at that? Said that that robot will be real handy for disabled folks. You know, that that is something that I was thinking about. I was like, what if robots can help assist with medicine? Or because, you know, they can search things so fast and you, you, you program robots to kind of like be able to search the fucking web within a millisecond. So like if, if they can problem solve and help in the medical field, especially with disabled people, that is something that I thought about. And like, but like th those are the things that that is like good with, with creating technology like that. But then you got people creating technology specifically for like war and, and for foreign affairs and shit like that. And that's the scary part because like, it's just like how far are they willing to go with that kind of stuff? That at that bleeding edge of robotics, is it something you, you said my job is assisting blind folks and these robots will in my job. You tell your mates down in the pub that you're working on a robot that could one day uh, be the future. It's literally going to be Detroit become human because humans are going to start protesting against robots. But I feel like, I feel like in a good society, in a, in a perfect society, if they create these robots, they will still have like humans alongside them, helping them because like, I'm not sure if, because, you know, you got to have someone to fix the robots unless they grow smart enough to fix themselves. But it's just like, well, shit. <laughs> I feel like Detroit had some really likely use, uses for robots. Yeah, like with, with Marcus and and what's his name? He was helping, he was helping homeboy, like, like do everything. He only was like in a wheelchair, could not walk. And like, he went to store, bought him art, art supplies, did all this stuff for him. It, it, it was it was some really interesting shit to see how robots would merge with normal society and the fact that they they could be deviant so they can deviate against their program and feel things you said the smiling says kill all humans this smile is nuts so future of the future of society and robotics mm -hmm. did she like one day did uh, she like get caught looking crazy try to look society away in robotics that's how that's how remy looked when he stole food and i asked him did he steal it Robot that could this one face. day uh, be the future. This face that's coming up. This face. Future of Look. the future of society and robot. I'm like Remy. You you did that. He'd be like, robotics. It's it's a fantastic thing to do. <laughs> it's a fantastic uh, technology to be a part of developing. And I. So I remember the sex bot. Yes, that's that's some nutty shit.